Hi and welcome to the Sonic Academy Tech Tip. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use parallel effects within uh, Effect Tracks in Ableton. And uh, these are very useful for creating build-ups and general movement throughout the course of a track. So first of all, I'll play what we've got, which is a uh, just a little simple techno groove. And a section here, which is kind of a mock-up of a break, probably a bit shorter than you would in a real track, but um, it's just the kick and the bass dropping out. So first job, we're going to try and make uh, this stab sound here, the uh, kind of FM sound here. Get a bit bigger and build up over the course of this little break so that you get a bit of dynamic and a bit of uh, bit of tension for the uh, for the kickback. So the, the traditional, uh, the easy way of doing it would be to drop a ping pong delay on there and uh, just automate the, uh, the dry wet control. So if we have a listen to what that would sound like. <laughs> Kind of does the job we're looking for, but um, the main problem with the dry wet control is that at the dry end you get all of the original signal and none of the wet signal, and at the other end you get all of the wet signal but none of the dry signal, which can be useful. But for a build up like this, um, you usually want to actually keep the uh, dry level constant, but just add add more of the delay on top, which isn't what a wet dry control does. So let's show you how to um, change that. So if we stick that to 100% wet and right click on the uh, the title of the device and click group. That puts it within the effect rack. Uh, that button there opens up and shows us the chains. So as you can see, this chain here refers to what's here, which is the ping pong delay. So let's just call that delay. And what we want to do then is right click and create chain and leave one empty and call this one dry. Put that on top. So uh, you can hear with this one, if we solo the chains, <laughs> That is just the original signal as it was before we put any effects on it at all, untouched. And then this one is just the delay. So if you hear the two of them together. So then, in terms of a very simple effect, just uh, automating this here, the uh, the level control on the, uh, on the delay chain, will give us that kind of build-up effect. So if we just draw that in from zero up to there, and then... Cut it off again at the top. That should give us a bit of a cleaner version of what we wanted, but actually keeping the dry level constant. So if we listen to that. So as you can hear, that um, does what, we what we're after, but these uh, kind of racks lend themselves to a lot of creativity and trying some more unusual things. So let's try and stack a bit more effect on that and do something more interesting with it. So that delay works, but um, it's not the most exciting thing ever. So let's try throwing a reverb after it, which gives us a little bit more size. Uh, let's just loop the end bit here so we can hear it with lots of effect on. So that sounds pretty good. A bit more uh, decay time. So you can hear there's a bit more of a uh, dramatic increase then as that that um, that chain fades up. Go okay, from the very dry sound there. To quite a lot going on by the end. And if we play that in context of the track, you can hear that... Uh, you get that nice contrast at the top of the build between it being really wet and reverb and delay and then cut into dry, which sounds really cool in a lot of tracks. So you can throw whatever you want onto there, really. You know, you put, put reverbs, delays, anything like that works. But let's try another chain now. And the good thing with this is you can have as many of these going at the same time as you want. So create chain again. And uh, this time we'll start with a reverb. Um, let's go for just a nice big, what have we got? Cathedral, sounds big. Um, and have a little test of that over here. So we'll loop this section up. 
So this is our Revo chain here, so let's call this. Let's give these more descriptive names, so call that delay plus verb. And this is our new chain, so let's have a listen to what this one sounds like. It's on wet, which is what we want. What well, a real big over the top reverb on this one, so let's just turn those off. Cut a bit of low, maybe. There you go, so it's a real big. Uh, Slightly over the top reverb, but sounding pretty cool. Um, then let's add some a little bit more interesting onto this. So let's go in and add, let's say, a phaser. Uh, what's this one here? That sounds pretty cool. So you get just the, the phaser there. Because we're on separate chains, the dry signal is not affected. So you've not got a phaser on your original signal, but just on the reverb, on the uh, reverb coming off it. Which, again, gives a bit of a different... Um, bit of a twist because it keeps your original sound unaffected but you get the spaciness from the uh, the reverb and the phaser so let's just turn the uh, feedback up a little bit on the phaser just so you get a bit more of a pronounced effect Sounding pretty, uh, pretty nice and over the top. So uh, let's take that out there, and if we maybe want to use this one for keeping a bit of dynamic throughout the track rather than on the build-ups, just so we've got a different, uh, different option. Um, let's put a compressor on uh, after within the chain still though. So after the phaser, but with it still within this chain. So let's call this uh, phasey verb. So we know what that one is. And uh, on the compressor, you can hit sidechain, pick the kick, as you would if you were sidechaining uh, anything else. And then have a little play with your times and things on there. And a little bit more output gain on there as well, just to give us a bit more level. And then you've got quite a cool effect that you can... Uh, fade up as the track's going and you uh, the original sound again is un un unaffected but you get this sort of big mass of reverbed phases side chain effect that you can sort of bring in and out throughout the track to uh, keep it moving so let's have a little test take solo off Probably went a little bit too loud there, but you get the idea. <clears throat> you can uh, sort of mess around with uh, bringing that in and out, duplicate it across, and uh, yeah, it's a nice little thing that keeps the track moving. <laughs> And these usually work well in conjunction as well. So even if you've got two, three, however many different uh, sort of uh, cha chains going on with different effects on for b bigger build-ups and things like that, you can sort of layer them together. So, you know, maybe let's uh, leave a little bit of the uh, phased reverb on over the course of the break just to give the whole break a little bit of background and then turn that up over the course of it as well as the other one. And uh, might be a bit too much, but we'll try it. <laughs> So yeah, that's a good example of uh, that seems to work, and that's how you use uh, parallel effects chains. Um, these are just basic ideas. Obviously, you can try whatever effects, what crazy plugins you know, that you want to try, gates, tremolo, you know, uh, LFOs, filters, whatever you fancy. You know, because um, you're not affecting your dry signal, you can really go to town and play around with different uh, different chains on these. So uh, yeah, get experimenting, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.